Sam, you think you can get those mechanical toys fixed by Christmas? <sighs> I'll give it my best shot. My angel. You know, I've always felt so close to angels. It's like they have some kind of connection or something. Speaking of angels, have you seen the little girl anymore? The one you said looked like the angel statue in the church? No, I haven't seen her since that night. She warned me to be on guard against evil. Right, my sister Faith died in that awful fire. I'm sorry, sweetheart. No, no, it's okay. And I think I haven't seen her again because I took her warning to heart. I have been on guard against evil, but as far as I can see, there's no evil in harmony. Have you told Santa what you want for Christmas? Um, well, actually, I've been too busy filling in for Luis at the youth center to give it much thought, so... Well, I think you should ask Santa for a nice girl to settle down with and get married. You know, Grace and I would like to have another niece and some nephews. <laughs> well, it sounds good to me, but, uh, I don't need Santa's help. Oh, wait a minute. You mean you found somebody and you haven't told us? Yeah, and she's perfect. She's beautiful. She's fun to be with. And to top it all off, she's got money. Lots of it. Well, who is she? Well, where does she live and when do we get to meet her? Well, she's out of town right now, but uh, as soon as she gets back, I'll set something up. She lives right here in Harmony. Well, you still haven't told us her name. It's Sheridan Crane. You can't get involved with Sheridan Crane. You stay away from her. Stay away. Big brother, not my father. And if he were here, he'd know better than to try and tell me how to live my life. Sam wasn't trying to dictate to you who you see. Now, were you, Sam? Look, I'm just trying to give Hank some good advice. But as usual, he's too damn stubborn to take it. What Sam means... You know what, buddy? The day I turned 18, I stopped taking good advice from my father. And I sure as hell am not about to take it from my big brother now. Come on, you guys, let's not fight. Tis the season to be right. jolly. Go ahead. You can see Sheridan Crane, because I can't stop you. But don't use our father's name in the same no. breath with the Give Cranes. Give a rest, okay? That's all water under the bridge. Oh, the hell it is. They broke our grandfather during the Depression. They took everything he had, Hank. Everything. The Cranes aren't thieves. They were just better at business than our grandfather they was. They stole our family blind. What are you... Why are you so angry with the Cranes all of a sudden? You know, you act like someone in that family personally screwed you over. I'm not trying to fight with you. I'm just looking out for your welfare. Look, Hank, Sam means well. You know, and I think he might be right about Sheridan's father, Alistair Crane. I mean, everything I've heard about him, he's a person to stay clear of. But, you know, that doesn't mean Hank is wrong about Sheridan. He knows her. We don't. She might be just as nice as Ivy Crane. <sighs> Ivy is a crane by marriage, but I think living in that house with those people has warped her as well. You know, for a police chief who's supposed to be impartial, you sure are biased against the Cranes. It's experience, Hank, not biased. Okay, you two, enough. Let's just not have any more arguing in this house during the holidays. Look, Grace is right. Come on, we're family. I mean, we shouldn't be fighting. Let's get back to fixing the toys. All right. I'm cool. You know, with the looks of these toys, we're going to need some supernatural help to get them running again. Grace? I just got this for Hank, and I wanted to see if you thought it was okay for Christmas. That looks great. I'm sure he'll love it. Okay. I just wanted you to see before I wrapped it up. What else you got in there? A little something for later. No, 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 no. We've got so much to do before Christmas, Sam. Let me see. Let me see. Uh huh. Mistletoe, huh? I was going to surprise you when we came up to bed. Why wait? Sam, Sam, I think we should put that mistletoe away for safekeeping. Why don't we put it above our bed? We'll keep it there all year long. Like, we need an excuse to be together. Mm, yeah, we never really needed an excuse for that. Mm. 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 Uh, uh, Sam, your brother Hank is um, downstairs waiting for you to start help on those toys. Well, he can start without me. Right now, I just want to be with my beautiful wife. What is it, Grace? 
I don't know. Just all of a sudden, I found myself thinking about the warning from that little girl about evil. You know, I was just so happy, Sam. Why did I think of that grim warning? <laughs>